Welcome to another beautiful interview with our guest, Rira Calloway. She's actually a senior editor and photographer at LA Fashion Magazine and this is gonna be really good. Are you excited? Because I am. You know, I would like to really start with uh, discussing how you even became um, a fashion editor, you know, this is such an exciting role. I mean, I really got into it from a young age. I always loved fashion growing up. Um, when I was a kid, I used to flip through magazines. I loved W Magazine, I loved Vogue, and I'd go through the editorials and I would kind of make up my own story about what was going on, and then I would read about it. So initially, I was really interested in being a fashion designer. And then as I got older and I was in college, um, I kind of got burnt out with creating my own clothes. Um, and I loved, obviously, continuing to write about it. So. When I was in college, I finished with my degree in history and English, and then as I moved on, I was kind of doing corporate jobs here and there, and I realized my passion, like I want to be in the fashion industry, that's exactly what I want to do. And it really just grew from there. I mean, I think the most important aspect of being an editor and being a journalist in general is just you're telling a story every time. And so as I've been doing this job for a long time now, I've just realized like where I began as writing you know, freelance, sending freelance pitches in to various magazines to where I am now has really just been developing my storytelling ability and really being able to connect with people and understand what they want to hear and what they want to read. Do you have a favorite LA-based designer and um, can you share them with us? <laughs> yeah, of course. I love, I love introducing new designers to people. A designer that I really love right now is House of Heroes. Um, she, the designer, created this incredible line of products. It's all basically silk-based, so it's silk tops, button-downs, um, jackets, blazers, robes, um, pantsuits, like an amazing collection. And with LA being such like a casual, cool environment, um, what I think is great is that with these pieces, you know, if you want to wear silk pants and like a t-shirt, it totally works. If you want to wear your jeans, like everybody's wearing all the time, and like a silk satin robe, which is what I have, like it looks great. And so. I really love that she's adding more of a feminine, elegant touch, but still doing like a California vibe clothing. Uh, let's gossip on <laughs> uh, on the events that just happened now, you know, the men's fashion week just yeah. ended. So any thoughts on that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, men's fashion weeks are always really interesting because people always just create these amazing things that are based on things that men wear. Men usually don't wear skirts, men usually don't wear you know, crazy <laughs> tops or something like that. But it's amazing to see people's imagination go wild when it comes to suits, which are something so classic that you see every year on the runway and people really elevating it. Um, what I love about watching a collection in general, especially watching like the Louis Vuitton men's fashion week show that just happened a couple weeks ago was that he started with, you know, the first couple pieces on the runway were just classic suits and neutral tones that were like a little bit of a twist to evolve all the way to suits that had, you know, cloud patterns on them that were just completely like out of his creative imagination and genius. And I love that. Yeah, it's exciting, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, how do you think your job um, and ability to communicate through fashion and storytelling is actually uh, helping to uh, reflect on community and culture and what's happening currently in the world, you know, because fashion is just language. Yeah, I think number one, like I said earlier, it's always really important to tell a story but also give people information that they want to know about and hear about. Um, a lot of what my job comes into is the research element of it, understanding, you know, like for example, Virginie Viard, who's at Chanel now, where the inspiration for her collection comes from to understand why these designs are there. Because otherwise it's just pieces of fashion, but understanding like the history of a, of a company or the history of a brand or even similarities in what we've seen in the past is so important because people really do remember styles and they remember trends and everything is so cyclical in the fashion industry. So I think it's always good to sort of give people somewhat of a history background while also giving them really information that they need to know and want to know. I think lots of us watching this, you know, can um, identify with you talking about being inspired by fashion and, uh, you know, flipping through the magazine and being mesmerized by this world. But how do you actually get from the point of actually just flipping a journal and working for one? <laughs> I think a big problem right now is that, you know, you have to have experience to get experience. And 
I was faced with that as well. One of the biggest moments that I remember was I wanted to be a fashion photographer. I wanted to shoot runway. I had only been shooting like bloggers on Instagram for like a year. I was like, oh, I just, I want to be a runway photographer, but you can't get press accreditation if you don't have runway photography experience. So I would literally sneak into shows. I would, you know, say that my press got lost in the mail. I didn't have the email. My phone was dead so that I could just get in. And I started out doing that for some of the LA shows. Um, and then really practicing and ha learning how to do it. And it was the same with being a journalist. Like I would practice by doing pitches and if I didn't hear from a publication that I was sending in a couple pitches to, I was like, okay, what do I think went wrong? It's really just taking a hard look at yourself and your work and saying, why isn't this working? Why hasn't this worked before? And then learning from it.